year ago, last Thursday, I was strolling in the zoo when I met a man who thought he knew it a lot. He was laying down the law about the habits of baboons and the number of tail quills the porcupine has got. I asked him, what's that creature there? He answered, it's a helk. I might have gone thinking that was true. If the animal in question had put that chap to shame and remarked, I ain't a helk, I'm a gnu. I'm a gnu. I'm a gnu. The gnoise is the work of Ganesha in the zoo. I'm a gnu. How do you do? You really ought to know who's who. I'm a gnu. Spell G and U. I'm not a camel nor a kangaroo. So let me introduce. I'm neither man nor goose. Oh, gnu, gnu, gnu. I'm a gnu. I had taken furnished lodgings down at Brevard on the sea when I travelled on to Asheville, it's divine. And the second night I stayed there, I was wakened from a dream which I'll tell you all about some other time. Among the hunting trophies on the wall above my head, stuffed and mounted, there was a face I thought I knew. A bison? An okavi? Could it be a heart of beast? Then I seemed to hear a voice. Oh, a gnu! Oh, a gnu! I can never get out! Oh, I wish I could do that in my teeth here! Oh, a How do you do? You really ought to know who's who! Oh, a gnu! Spongy and you! Call me bison or a copy and I'll sue! Gnu, 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 I'm a gnu. And a third. Gnu, gnu, gnu. 